What's going on guys, Greg here today bringing you a Call of Duty Modern Warfare 3 gameplay commentary and in the background you guys are watching a 10 versus 10 tanked hardpoint. I get two swarms in this gameplay but I'm going to be honest with you guys, they don't really do a lot of damage considering it is tanked, it's more of an indoor map. Most of the action gravitates towards the actual aquarium so it is what it is. I wouldn't recommend running some aerial streaks on this map, maybe some more of those non-lethal kill streaks such as the UAV, the counter UAV, the advanced UAV, the EMP and maybe some of the ground-based streaks like the Cluster Mine, the Sentry Gun, things of that nature. But I had the good old packet loss symbol showing up every once in a while, and uh, I gotta say, ever since Season 3 Reloaded, the servers have been in an awful state. Lots of lag, lots of packet burst, lots of packet loss, and I had my internet checked out. Nothing is wrong with my internet. As a matter of fact, we just got it fixed. The speeds are so much better, way more consistent. So, it's definitely something going on with the game, and I hear a lot of people talking about it, so it's unfortunate that we're constantly always having server issues in Modern Warfare 3, but at the same time, well, there's not really much else to expect, because I feel like, whatever reason, these last however many years, I want to say ever since Modern War- actually, no, nah, I'd say Vanguard. Vanguard really started this packet burst issue and all this stuff, so I'm not really quite sure what's going on. Hopefully they can figure it out, because... Connection is huge in FPS games, but anyways, Tanked Hardpoint, let's talk about Tanked. So, this is a medium-sized map, it's a pretty good map in my opinion. Now, I'm still learning the rotations and all that kind of stuff whenever it comes to how the spawns flow and everything of that nature, but I will say the spawns on this map seem kind of okay. They don't seem amazing, but they also don't seem absolutely terrible, and as we know here, in Modern Warfare 3, well, the spawns aren't really the strong point of this game. There's a lot of random flips, people just spawning in your back, giving you kills in, from behind, and you're just wondering, why am I getting shot in the back? What happened? You look at your radar, you try to check out if teammates were pushing up too far, and that's not really the case. So, just kind of leaves you scratching your head on why the spawns have flipped. Apparently, we got a massive spawn update with Season 3 Reloaded in pretty much all game modes, but... We will see how that plays out, and so far, while I was playing, they kind of felt strange still. So it's going to have to give a little bit more playtime and see if the spawns are a lot better. Now, I did want to tell you guys, there was a deal going on with Photoshop. I ended up getting Photoshop again, which means I can make my graphics and all that kind of stuff whenever I want to make something and, you know, annotate it more for you guys so you can understand what is going on in my mind a lot better. So I do have Photoshop at my disposal again, and I kind of feel pretty good about that because, like I said, I do kind of like DaVinci Resolve here as a photo or, uh, video editing software. It's pretty close to uh, Premiere, and it has a lot of features for being a free program. Back to the gameplay, though. You guys can see here, I'm pretty much sticking with my teammates. Uh, I'm not really going out too far, and this is just kind of like a safety and numbers thing, just so that way, if I'm going out a little too far, I notice that, well, I'm going to start getting into the territory where the spawns can really start getting me killed. You know, I might push into an enemy spawn, and in old games, when you start applying a pressure on the spawns, and how it should work is that they should go to a secondary spawn point, you know, that's safe, where there's not a lot of, of your teammates pushed up as well, and uh, that's where they should start spawning. But most of the case, whenever you push up to spawns by yourself and you're trying to get off a rotation, a flank, whatever it may be, they'll just keep spawning there and you're going to get killed. So you can see that in this gameplay that whenever I stick with my teammates, we're able to kind of control map flow a little bit better. Um, although it's still not the greatest. You can see there's a lot of random flip spawns with the advanced UAV up. Now, this is the old spawn system. This is not the new spawn system. I do want to point that out. This gameplay is a little older. So... Um, this was like beginning of season three. So you can see like right now with that advanced UAV going on, like I said, they're kind of spawning split. Like half of them are on one side of the map. The other half are on the other side of the map. And uh, traditionally, that is not the way it would be working, right? All of them would be spawning on one side of the map, trying to fight back for map control against you. And in this game, yeah, it's it's very hard to predict, which is why... My recommendation for trying to understand spawn logic in this game and overall spawn traffic is kind of, you want to really emphasis on the early game, right? You want to gauge where your enemies are going to go off rip. You want to try to build up a streak that way immediately. 
um, because the longer the game goes on, obviously your teammates are going to be moving around more, they're going to be more spread out, and that's going to cause a lot of interesting spawn scenarios. Now this spawn scenario right here isn't too bad because the enemies are majority on one side of the map now, um, but you guys will see that now they're starting to go behind as well, and uh, it's just, it's a very interesting thing like why is this guy behind me now all of a sudden you know like the, oh, oh there's more people coming in now now they're spawning here on top of me whenever you know i'm over here i should technically be blocking it and they should be spawning at that area behind the hard point where the majority of their teammates are but it's just it's not making a lot of sense so if the more you spread away from your teammates in this game the more of a chance you have dying and i hate to say that because i think that flanking is a very important part of regaining map control especially whenever a lot of enemies are huddled up together and you know you might want to go ahead and make a flank try to make a play and kill a bunch of people shoot them in the back and clear it out so that way your teammates can push up or whatever it is and you know regain map control but it's really hard to do that whenever you think you're going to make a break on the enemy spawn point you're going to clear out a bunch of people and then the next thing you know well they're all on top of you yet again, and not only are you going to lose all the progress you just made towards your streak and regaining map control, it's also going to throw you back to square one, and same with your team. So, it's, it's kind of difficult if you're playing with other people, you can kind of communicate and coordinate to hit the spawn together. Um, the more players, obviously, at that point are going to apply more pressure, but it's still not guaranteed that it's going to make sense with previous Call of Duty games where you could really control the spawns as a team or you could even control the spawns as a solo player and you can see right there people were spawning on top of me as um i pushed up to this corner why nobody knows <laughs> so it is quite a difficult thing to read everybody i know struggles in this game to read spawns um and you know i'm i'm trying to help you guys understand it a little bit better but at the same time it's just there is a lot of randomness it feels this year um, even in the CDL, you know, it's, you see a lot of videos where if you're watching, um, maybe some commentary, like live commentary going on with the CDL or some, uh, replays on the VODs or whatever it is, you'll have them say like, what is that spawn? Look at number whatever. He just spawned in there. Like, oh my God, what just happened? Like, it's so confusing even for them. And I honestly, I'm not quite sure why the spawns have gotten so bad over the year in Call of Duty and so random feeling. Um, considering that I feel that spawns were kind of like the strong point of previous CODs. You really understood map traffic. There wasn't really, um, any sort of bad spawns, really. Like, if you look back to, like, I don't know, let's say the original, like, Modern Warfare 2 all the way up to, like, BO4, like, I don't really ever remember people complaining about spawns in those games. Modern Warfare 2019, people said the spawns were too far away, so you, it was just constant running simulator, but it still made the spawns still made sense in that game. Uh, Black Ops Cold War had some pretty strong spawns. They didn't really flip for no reason. You kind of had to fight for map control in order to flip them. Um, Vanguard was like the game that really, really had bad spawns, but you also had the forward intel perk to help you read them. And last year, Modern Warfare 2, the spawns were iffy as well, so I'm not really quite sure what's going on. But if I were you guys, in conclusion, I would really just kind of stick closer to your teammates. You can kind of push out, feel it around, but don't go venturing off too far thinking you're going to really get something going if you push too far in the enemy spawn, especially depending on how, you know, the enemy players are playing. If they're a lot smarter, they're going to take you out with ease. But anyways, hopefully you guys enjoyed. Let me know in the comment section below, and uh, I'll see you guys in the next one. Peace.